was six, my older brother and I got into an argument over a toy fire truck. We ended up in an angry tug of war, and I planted my foot on his waist and thrusted it forward, causing him to lose his grip and go flying backwards. His head struck the corner of a dresser, and he died instantly. A halo of blood spread beneath him, and his eyes stared sightlessly up at me. And for the first time, I... I felt truly alive. When my parents found me weeping over his body, they never realized that mine were tears of joy. Eventually, my exhilaration faded. I knew what I needed to recapture, but instinctively understood where I should wait, lest I reveal myself. Years went by before I killed again. When I was an adult, I started playing elaborate games with my victims before allowing them to die. The degradations I inflicted grew increasingly perverse and brutal, but I was never satisfied. Viscero thrills were too fleeting. I wanted more. Again, I bided my time. I ran for office, glad-handing instead of strangling, kissing babies instead of eviscerating them. My predatory nature was perfectly suited to politics. I rose through the ranks until I reached the pinnacle of power. But the presidency was merely a means to an end. According to the latest Pentagon report, 93% of the world's population is now dead. The death toll keeps rising as radiation spreads, finishing off the few who survived the nuclear fire I unleashed. I murdered the human race. Now I'm going to celebrate. It's time to play with those poor souls trapped here in my bunker.